What's up guys? Got a lot of feedback and questions about Emerald Tree Boa Care and maintenance. So I figured I'd put up a video of just that. I keep my Emerald Tree Boa in a 18 by 18 by 24 tall Zoomed terrarium. He's only two years old so it's good enough size for right now. When he gets to be an adult, I'll probably need a 36 wide cage, which is this exact cage, you know, times two, twice as wide. But right now he's in the 18 by 18 by 24. So he's got two bamboo perches in his terrarium, but he doesn't sit on the bamboo perches. He sits on the bendy perch that I added just a couple months ago. Before he used to sit on this top bamboo perch, but I added this bendy perch that was some zip ties and bended it around the setup and now he sits on that because it's a little bit higher, closer to the heat source. Now you do want to keep a heat light on. Some people like to keep a heat light on for only 12 hours, but I like to keep mine on for 24 hours. I don't have a regular, you know, purple heat light, so I'm, I can use it for 24 hours. It's an Exoterra Night Glow. It's almost like a black light. And I keep that on for 24 hours and the UV light on for 12 hours a day. You don't need a UV light. I just have it for, you know, so my terrarium looks nicer. Now, as far as temperature and humidity, temperature, you're going to want to keep it around 82 to 86, sometimes even 88 during the day. If they had a big meal, you want it a little bit warmer in there so they could digest their food. Keep my humidity around 60 to 90% all the time. You never want it really below 50. Uh, it's pretty difficult to keep your humidity up if you don't know what you're doing. At first I had a lot of trouble but you know after a few years getting to you know reading a lot of different how people do it keep their humidity up. The way I do it is uh, I have a lot of sphagnum moss here on the bottom mixed with this reptile bark. Go get yourself one of these little pump sprayers. Mist the substrate down once or twice a day. That'll keep the humidity up really well. Now that's not enough though. Top of that you also need a big water bowl like this one. My Emerald Truboa, he doesn't drink out of the big water bowl on the bottom. He actually, you want to miss the whole cage. I don't miss the snake that much, just a little bit because it'll lower their body temperature a lot. But I do it sometimes. If your heat is way up, you can miss the snake. If your you know your temperature is around like 75, 76, you don't really want to miss the snake because it's going to bring his body temperature down even more. You want to keep him, keep him about 83 his body temperature. I have a temperature gun here. I'll show you guys how warm he is. It's about 85 right now. The actual snake, 84. This perch right here, 77 degrees because it's wet now. 85 right here under the, the heat light. Eighty-six, even up to eighty-seven, that's about the hottest hottest area in the in the terrarium right here on this perch. Now go down to this perch. So you're at seventy-eight degrees. So it's a big difference all around. The substrate is 76. 
which is the coldest area in the tank, 76 degrees. But if he wants to get warm, he could come right here, 84 degrees during the day. It's about 87, but he likes to sit at 83 to 85. actually 80 to 85 so that's how I keep humidity up and the temperature like I said you just get one heat source but don't put it in the middle of your tank and you know you want to keep it on one side so he, if he wants to get warm he can go to that side if you have it in the middle he doesn't know where to go he's just gonna be hot all the time I mean unless you have a really big terrarium but the 18 by 18 by 24 I keep it right over this perch right after he eats a meal sometimes he'll sit right here and just just soak up soak up the warmth and digest his food a lot faster. Now I have some fake plants in here as well. They also keep humidity up. You just keep them misted. More surface area for water to be on. Now this is what he drinks out of. Back to where they drink. So I get two end or two inch end caps. PVC end caps you can get from the hardware store or Home Depot wherever and I, what I do is I drill a hole in them and I put a big suction cup through and that's where he drinks his water he just stretches out I, I think I have a video uploaded of him drinking water stretches out and just sticks his head in there and just chugs away he never drinks out of this bottom bowl and when I when I only had the bottom bowl before I made these things, he rarely drank. Now he drinks all the time because it's in reach. It's closer to him. So I also have a live plant in here. You don't need them, but you know it's a good if the plant's growing and doing well. It's a good sign that your your climate is perfect for life. So, if you guys have any other questions, pretty sure I covered everything. If you have any other, oh yeah, feeding. You want to feed them when you first get them, once every two weeks only, sometimes even less. Some people recommend that you don't feed them, you feed them once and then wait till they go to the bathroom and then you feed them again. You don't feed them in between, but I fed him once every two weeks, I just gave him a mouse and... Now, once every two weeks, he gets a small rat. I finally bumped him up to small rats after two years. But you don't want to overfeed these guys because they'll regurgitate their meal and die on you. You know, they have a really slow digestive system. So if you want a snake to grow really fast and eat a bunch of food, this is not the snake to get because you'll end up killing the thing. So just feed it real slow. You know, you also save money that way. So these things, they don't, they don't need too much food. So if you're going to get them, just feed them a little bit. They can eat a lot, but like I said, they could regurge their food, and you don't want that. It's the worst thing. All right, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I also keep a humidifier on top. I didn't say that. Uh, Zoomed humidifier. A Reptifogger. And that's on a timer that comes comes on four or five times a day for about a half hour. Gets the whole tank foggy. And that's another thing that keeps the humidity up as well. That's one of the major things that keeps it up. So if you don't have all those things combined, your humidity, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to be horrible but it's not going to be where it needs to be like very high without all these things combined I mean you could go minus the substrate but like I said it keeps it up so you don't have to spray as often some people just have like no substrate on the bottom but I like sphagnum moss alright guys any questions let me know if you want me to upload a certain video on a certain reptile I have, shoot me a message or leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.